Now, we come down right now, and the defense is set. We come down, we're playing against a 2-3 defense, and they are set. Could be an odd man front 2-3, could be an even man front. Either way, we can run what we call power gap. Call it power gap, okay? Again, I'll give you our play calls. Power gap, all right? Understanding what we're trying to get. In an ideal situation, you want your best shooter on the baseline, okay? So we could call it two power gap, so our guys know we would initiate it on the two-man side. For us, our three-man runs up the right side of the floor, the two-man runs up the left side. Okay, so if we're playing against a set defense and we want to get into this offense and we say our three-man is the best shooter on the floor right now, we're going to run three power gap. And the three-man's job in this offense is to always stay in line with the ball. Okay, let me just get a, let's just simulate a 2-3 zone. Let me get two defenders out here up top. And again, I don't want to go live because I want to make sure that, that we're explaining this correctly. You just give me a, a, a center. Perfect. All right. So power gap. In this situation, ball's on the right side of the floor. Our best shooters are three man. We're running three power gap. Okay. Here's how we initiate it. Again, our four man always inbounds the ball. So he's all nine times out of ten is trailing the play against a made basket. Okay. Very similar to us. Okay. Let's just say right now, he comes down, we can initiate this offense a couple different ways, okay? Ball can be reversed, right here at the top of the key, he can look shot, we can lift here, and we can initiate with a drag pick and roll on this side of the floor, 